Few things in science get crazier than quantum mechanics, with related theories sometimes sounding more like paranormal activity than physics. So when such theories gain experimental proof it's a big day for physicists. Quantum entanglement is a curious phenomenon that occurs when two particles remain connected, even over large distances, in such a way that actions performed on one particle have an effect on the other. For instance, one particle might be spun in a clockwise direction. The result on the second particle would be an equal anti-clockwise spin. Three different research papers claim to have closed loopholes in 50-year-old experiments that demonstrate quantum entanglement, proving its existence more definitively than ever before. Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, and Nathan Rosen described this in a 1935 paper, concluding that either single-particle quantum entanglement was impossible, or that the quantum mechanical definition of physical reality still needed some work. In 1964, physicist John Bell proposed that quantum entanglement could be demonstrated by separating the particles at a great enough distance that any correlating effect on both particles could not possibly be caused by local environmental factors. These were called the Bell test experiments. However, the Bell test experiments had some significant loopholes. The biggest is the fair sampling loophole where the sampled particles are not representative of all entangled particles. Second is the communication or locality loophole, where the particles could be communicating via some hidden means at light speed. Thirdly, the free choice loophole occurs when the orientation of the particle detectors are not chosen freely or randomly. That lack of free choice could explain any observed correlations. It is these three loopholes that University of Delft researchers, led by Hansen, U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology researchers, led by Christa Schalm, and the University of Vienna researchers, led by Anton Zielinger, claim to have closed. Hansen and his team used a pair of diamonds with a gap in each diamond's atomic matrix, which trapped a single electron. The diamonds were placed 1.3 kilometers apart. The team then randomly measured one of two properties. If the particles are entangled, they would correlate in a way that cannot be explained by hidden variables.